How's it going, everybody? This is David Hedge with Two Edges Smash Wrestling, and today we're go Wait a minute. Did I just say Two Edges Smash Wrestling? <laughs> I did! And that's because we are looking at wrestling, the WWE Evolution, the all-women's wrestling pay-per-view coming up, WWE's first ever, and we are going to take a look at what's happening in that event. And before I do, I just want to let you guys know a little bit of a history about me. I have been a huge wrestling fan all my life, ever since I was about small. Well, I've never really been small, but I've been a wrestling fan uh, ever since I was five years old. And to be able to sit and watch uh, WCW with my dad and my grandfather, it's one of those memories that have stuck with me all throughout my life. And I have always enjoyed wrestling to the point that I am an instructor up at BWC Bullies Wrestling Camp in Charlottesville, Virginia. And I have been able to do a lot of things because of that, and I have been very blessed. And I love talking about wrestling, and this is one of those times that I can actually talk about wrestling, because now I have this forum, I have YouTube, and uh, we have the Two Edge of Smash Gaming, which has been really cool and been doing well, and hopefully everybody's been enjoying that. But we wanted to try something different. And I wanted to talk about the WWE Evolution pay-per-view. This is WWE's first ever all-women's pay-per-view, and unfortunately, it has flown under the radar uh, for a lot of people because they have not really promoted this, and I don't know why. This event is going to end up being probably one of the most talked about events, not just because it's a history-making event that involves an all-women roster main card or undercard or anything. This event is going to showcase how far women's wrestling has come. Uh, a few years ago, we were seeing women's wrestling that was not the best in the world because there was a lot of lingerie models and sports models just trying to fit in where they could and try to learn wrestling on the fly, which didn't work out. But now we have real women's wrestling. So, let's take a look at the matches that are happening tonight on WWE's Evolution pay-per-view. So, first up, we have a six-woman tag between the Riot Squad, Natalia, Sasha Banks, and Bayley. I wish I could be more excited about this match. We have seen this match several times on Raw. We've seen it as singles, tags, and even six lady tags. And, unfortunately, we've seen it enough. And they could have done something else. Now... WWE, I hope you're watching and I hope you're listening because you have missed an opportunity here that would have been really cool, in my opinion. And please, if you don't agree with my opinion, let me know in the comments below. So we have the Riot Squad of Sarah Logan, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot going up against Natalya, Sasha Banks, and Bayley. But they've had these matches over and over again. Why not give us something a little bit different? Why not have it be something like a Riot Rules match? To where it's basically a street fight. All six women are in the ring at the same time. They beat the living daylights out of each other. It's like a street fight. Uh, and we don't need blood or anything like that. It's just have these women beat the bejesus out of each other. And show that how, like, just have it in the feud. That's what I would want. That would have been a great way to have this match here on this pay-per-view, but instead we're getting a regular six-woman tag. Should be a fun match to watch because, like, the Riot Squad has been definitely hitting it on all its cylinders. Love the Riot Squad. Natalya has been amazing. Uh, Sasha Banks and Bayley has always been really good, uh, especially Sasha Banks. Bayley, uh, you need to work on some stuff because I've seen a few things in your matches. You need to slow down a little bit. But... That match, it will be a decent match. Uh, I give that match to the Riot Squad just because they're on such a roll. I do not want to see them lose that momentum in this event. So, that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, we have the finals of the Mae Young Classic, which is EO versus Tony Storm. And that match should bring down the house. You have two great international talents going against each other. The Mae Young Classic this year has been insanely good, uh, which I'm glad, by the way, that Dodi assigned Mia Yim because she is one of the toughest women wrestlers in wrestling today. Uh, if you ever get a chance, please look up her matches in CZW. A lot of stuff she won against men, and they were about as brutal as you can get. And she's just one of the tough ones. But you have Io versus Tony Storm, and this is a coin flip for me. I don't know who's going to win this one. Last year, Shayna Baszler and Kyrie Zayn, I thought Shayna Baszler was going to win, but Kyrie Zayn got it, and I'm glad she did, because she's an amazing wrestler as well. So, 
if I had to pick between these two, I would go with Tony Storm. Uh, just because they've already shown that Io and uh, Kairi Zane are best friends. And I don't know if they want to have them going back-to-back -back winners. So I would think that Tony Storm would get the nod and win this event. So that's my pick on that one. Uh, next up we have for the NXT title, speaking of Kyrie Zane, we have Kyrie Zane versus Shayna Baszler. Kyrie Zane going in as champion. Uh, these two have a really good dynamic with each other, Shayna Baszler being the, uh, the brawler, the MMA fighter, Kyrie Zane being the high flyer, and I love their, the way that they mesh together in the ring, and I could not wait to see how they do it tonight. So with these two, they have a dynamic together that is really going to be something to watch. And I think it's going to be one of those matches on this pay-per-view that will help save it and make it something to be talked about on for months and years to come. Because the next day, everybody's going to be going, wow, that Kyrie Sane match with Shayna Baszler was amazing because Shayna Baszler keeps working on what she's doing and she's still amazing. She's getting better and better every time she gets in the ring. Kyrie Sane has always been amazing and now she has a chance to shine a lot more and as the NXT uh, champion for women, uh, the NXT women's champion and I think it's going to be a great match. I could see Kyrie Sane uh, retaining but I wouldn't mind seeing Shayna Baszler get the belt back. But we'll see what happens. If I have to pick right now, I'd go with Kyrie Sane to keep the belt. Next up, we have a tag team match that has changed from two singles to a tag to a replacement. So originally we were going to have uh, Alexa Bliss go up against Trish Stratus and Lita against Mickie James. Right off the bat, didn't know how that was going to go because they should have had Mickie going up against Trish, Lita against Alexa Bliss. In my opinion, but... I'm not booking WWE. So then they mashed them together. They have Alexa Bliss and Mickey James going up against Trish and Lita. Okay, I could see that happening. Not a bad matchup. But unfortunately, Alexa Bliss did get injured and she has been suffering from a concussion. And unfortunately, she is not able to participate in the event tonight. So instead, she has a replacement of Alicia Fox. Not a bad replacement. Like out of the four, unfortunately, Alicia is not on the level of the other three. However, it should still be a really good tag match because you have Mickey James, uh, Lita, Trish, and Alicia Fox, all four veterans. They know what they're doing in the ring. And it's a bit like you have the tail end of the Attitude Era with Lita and Trish going up against the mid 2000s of Alicia and Mickey James. Uh, even though Mickey James is on the tail end of the Attitude Era too, but. I could see it just being a clash of two different versions of WWE. So hopefully they'll play it off that way. And I see Trish and Lita winning it. I don't see it any other way. I don't see Mickey James and Alicia Fox winning. Unless they have some outside interference from Alexa Bliss. Which I wouldn't be I wouldn't be sad about because Alexa Bliss will be at ringside. So so that's my pick, Lita and Trish for the tag match. Now, there is a women's battle royal that will be featuring a lot of uh, women from the past coming back into this event as much as I love battle royals and I have been in several I do not see a reason why they're having this kind of a match on the card I don't uh, I know they want to try and get everybody to have a payday and next week is crown jewel and they're going to Saudi Arabia and the women won't be there but in the same retrospect i I just don't see why they would have it. They could have done like one or two other matches that involve some of the great talent that's going to be in that battle royal. Like in actuality, Asuka should have a singles match. Uh, they could have done something with Carmella. They could have done something with uh, some of the NXT women that are coming up. Uh, they could have done something with the uh, the legends. Like I mean, they got Ivory coming in. Like she should have something else more than just the battle royal because you'll get lost in the mix. But. With that being said, I could see Asuka winning the Battle Royal. I know, but Asuka, I could see her winning the Battle Royal, and unfortunately, it's for nothing. They should do it for something. Like, they should do it for a women's title shot, or they should do it for um, just anything. And it's just a throwaway Battle Royal, but hopefully, it should be entertaining, and Asuka wins. Uh, next, we have for the Raw Women's Title, Ronda Rousey defending her belt against Nikki Bella. 
yep, that's it. Uh, and I hate, I hate saying that because uh, I love Ronda Rousey to death. She has been getting better every time she gets in the ring. She has been uh, just surprising me left and right uh, every time she gets in the ring. I thought when she would have gotten the WWE, there would not have been the best of circumstances. She would have been going on name recognition. She fooled me. After WrestleMania, she has been getting better and better and better. However, since Nikki and Brie have been back to WWE, and this is in my eyes, and feel free to comment below to let me know I'm wrong. Uh, Nikki and Brie, they came from a different era as far as women wrestling. Uh, they came up with the total, like with the Diva Search era. And granted, they have gotten better since they first started. They are still not, it shows that they have not been around the business uh, for long. Like they were, they didn't grow up on the business. Like a lot of the women have, there have been coming in to WD as of late. And with both of them just really messing up, uh, and especially the whole controversy with Brie literally kicking the head off of a Liv Morgan. I felt so bad when that happened. Uh, just they have not been their I'm trying to think of the best way to put it so bear with me their skills and what they have to bring to the ring has definitely not been the best since they've come back and with Ronda Rousey in there with Nikki Bella it may be a bowling shoe ugly match not gonna lie however if WD was smart they would have Ronda Rousey just beat the holy hell out of Nikki Bella, have her submit to an arm bar in less than four minutes. That's what I would want. And just have Ronda just be that dominant women's champion that Raw needs. So, I'm still picking Ronda to win the match. I do not see Nikki Bella winning. And hopefully after this, Nikki and Brie will go to the wayside, continue with Total Bellas, Total Divas, and everything else, and just stay out of the ring because unfortunately like I said their their weaknesses are starting to show a lot more than what it did a few years ago so that's just my opinion though so now let's get to the main event now this is the match I have been looking forward to because the buildup has been great for it this is the one buildup that has been really good Charlotte Flair going after Becky Lynch for the SmackDown Women's Championship in a last woman standing match. Wow. These two women are going to undoubtedly bring down the house tonight. Uh, and if they don't, something's wrong. Because you have a stipulation that can bring a lot of drama. You have Charlotte Flair, who has undoubtedly been one of the top female superstars in WWE for a long time. And you have Becky Lynch, who is now hitting her stride as that Stone Cold-esque type heel uh, to where she's doing all this stuff that makes you want to hate her, but you love her because she's doing it. And it is just amazing. And it's awesome to see her do this. So uh, tonight should be very physical. Uh, I, can see, I can see it go either way. I can see Charlotte Flair winning the match after a prolonged... Uh, figure eight on uh, Becky Lynch to where she can't stand. But I can also see some chicanery with uh, Becky Lynch keeping Charlotte down to win the match. So uh, I would want to keep Becky Lynch as the, the champion because I really think that she can keep that title all the way through WrestleMania and then maybe lose to somebody and build up uh, another person then maybe somebody from NXT. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But I think that the match of the night will definitely be Charlotte Flair going up against Becky Lynch because these two women are making history. You really don't see, not just in WWE, but in wrestling in general, last woman standing matches. And it's going to be intriguing to see what they do. So, uh, like I said, I could see it go either way. If I had to pick one right now, I'd go Becky Lynch. I wanted to keep the belt as long as she can. Maybe until WrestleMania, until somebody can beat her. But I want to just see those two tear it down tonight. And it should be a really good event tonight. Like I said, it's an all-women pay-per-view. You don't see those. And in WWE. Ha! I caught that. Because there have been other like all-women shows. But for WWE, this is a first for them. So uh, hopefully it does well. I hope that all the women...
kick ass tonight as they should because a lot of times their matches can be better than the men's. And I want to see that happen tonight to where that the men have to go, well, crap, now we got to follow this up in Saudi Arabia next week. We're in trouble. And I'll go into the Crown Jewel one later because that's a whole different monster and I'm not going to deal with that today. But uh, that's my thoughts on WD Evolution. And let me know what you think below. Let me know if you agree, you disagree, or anything in between. Uh, and hopefully it'll be a great event. Let me know what you think. And I'll probably have a little bit of a video up later on with my thoughts on the event after I get to watch it. So we'll see what happens. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video, our first ever wrestling review type video. Uh, let us know what you think of it. If you like it, definitely share it. And hopefully... If there's anything you want to know, like, let me know. If you want to go back and forth on something, by all means, just comment below and I'm more than glad to answer you. So that's my thoughts on WWE Evolution, the first all-women's pay-per-view from WWE. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, take care.